Good evening. It's so nice to see a few remaining analog people in audiences. <laughs> yes, to see you. And uh, first of all, I'd like to extend my thanks to the members of the steering committee, and we've been working to conceptualize this and how to um, pay appropriate respect to the vision of Arthur Clarke and um, the implications of the world. It's kind of an interesting moment when HAL 9000 is not such a fantasy of science fiction, but something that many people think are around the corner. And when we were thinking about this, the idea, uh, it might seem odd to some people that uh, the vision of the future is HAL 9000. Our interpretation is actually quite the opposite, that it was a cautionary tale. And that cautionary tale is something which informs us and future generations of how do you wish to deal with these responsibilities of artificial intelligence, machine intelligence, et cetera. Um, you know, when I was at MIT, my professor was Marvin Minsky, often called the father of AI. And I listened to AI being right around the corner for 40 years. And it turns out it's right around the corner. <laughs> so, you know, who knew? Um, but this competition we're building is precisely about fostering those creative ideas about how we actually avoid a HAL 9000 future and how we harness the skills, talents, and imagination of young people to be able to assist in this. It's remarkable to think that um, it was 60 years ago that Clark was envisioning this. And, um, you know, that's quite a prescient observation. And often you hear about Clark geosynchronous satellites, et cetera. But I, I think this is becoming a directly relevant question for society. And the point of this is how do we take advantage of this particular moment where it's becoming real? So how do we heed his warning? Uh, how do we take the rapidly accelerating promise of AI, as well as the concerns about AI, and work to the benefit of society rather than some of the alternatives? The HAL 9000 challenge will turn to young people. Uh, these are the people like my daughter, who's 14 years old. Um, they're going to be the ones inventing our future. And we will be seeking and rewarding proposals that drive greater benefits to society and help deter the potential negative consequences. And I think that both of those are important and maintaining a balance and a perspective is critical. Our future is our kids. And our goal is to stimulate their creativity for the benefit of society and to foster the kind of intergenerational collaborations that help take the creative ideas of young people and actually make them actionable and executable, which some of us older folk um, have some experience in. And so the idea is how do you create this type of teamwork? Um, uh, we hope that you're as intrigued with the possibilities that we've been in putting this together, and we uh, both invite and appreciate your support and help in achieving this goal. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bran. Uh, as Bran has uh, 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 so clearly said, uh, the Clark Foundation is really excited about the HAL 9000 challenge. We hope that you will be too. It's timely, uh, we're convinced, and we'll produce potent proposals for a positive impact for society. Uh, we believe, we firmly believe, that the power of intergenerational uh, collaboration and co-mentoring uh, uh, is potent. Uh, we invite each of you, through your donations, willingness to volunteer, and access to youth networks to help us reach those young people and their ideas, uh, to consider helping us build a program that truly makes a difference.